Now, in the last question, we were asked to find the y-intercepts. Here we're asked to find the x-intercepts for each of these quadratic functions. Now, the y-intercept, if you remember, is where the line crosses the y-axis. So the x-intercept, we want to know where, or, or parabola, the line or the parabola crosses the y-axis. What we want to know is where is this um, parabola going to cross the x-axis? And this also has a different... Um, uh, other names other than the uh, intercepts. This can also be called the roots or solution for the quadratic equation. Now, so what we're looking for is where is this parabola going to cross? And sometimes it'll cross at one point, sometimes it'll cross at two points, and sometimes it won't cross the um, the x-axis at all, so there will be no solution. Now, just like uh, for the y-intercept, x is equal to 0. Here, for the x-intercept, y is equal to 0. And so if we're going to sub in for y equals 0 into our equation, into our quadratic function here, we could write this as 0 is equal to x squared minus x minus 20. Now, what we have to do is factor this quadratic and look for, and that's going to help us determine what the, what the uh, solution is or what the intercepts are going to be. And so what we're looking for are two numbers that multiply to be negative 1, sorry, add to be negative 1 and multiply to be negative 20. And so the larger number is going to have to be the negative because the sum of the two numbers is negative. So, and also we have to um, remember that a positive times a negative is a negative. So we have one positive number and one negative number. And so the two numbers that multiply to be negative 20 and have a sum of negative 1 are negative 5, so x minus 5, and x plus 4. So this is why it's important that you're able to factor quadratic functions. Now, the zero principle means that there are two possibilities here. Either x minus 5 can equal 0, or the other possibility is x plus 4 is equal to 0. And if either of these cases are true, if x minus 5 is 0, then this becomes 0. And 0 times any number will be 0. So what we have to figure out is what x is going to be. And if we add 5 to both sides, you can also solve this by inspection. x is equal to 5. And here, if we subtract 4 from both sides, so we're subtracting 4 from both the right and the left side, x, minus, x plus 4 minus 4 is x. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. So if we sub in here for x equals 5, this becomes 5 minus 5, which is 0, times any, th any number will also be 0. So the, um, this, is, this equation is true. Or if we have x is negative 4 in the second bracket, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So it doesn't matter what's in the first bracket. The uh, product is going to be equal to 0, which will make the equation true. So there are two possible answers here. And to make this true, one is x equals 5 and x equals negative 4. And so what that's going to mean is that this parabola is going to cross at two points on our grid. It's going to cross at x equals negative 4. So it's going to cross at negative 4 on the x-axis. And it's also going to cross at 5. So those are two things that we can figure out from this um, after having factored the quadratic equation.